I want to show you today how to quickly launch your PureIDX website and how to set up a domain with it. So we have our new, uh, you come here to IDX add-ons and come click on the PureIDX. It's really straightforward. Click activate right here. And then I'm going to set this to use the Pure IDX2 design so it'll look like this. And I should be able to see it right here. So let's see, it's not. And. I'll come over here. That one's been selected. And I'll just change this to this layer info. And we'll submit those changes. And that'll make it pop up as the. You can see there's the buyer info. So it pops this design up right there. And, uh, you know, the site's ready to go right there. But it is using this integrity, re.pureidx.com. So the question is, how do I set it to my domain? Well, coincidentally, I have a domain that we're getting ready to let expire. It's segurosdenton.com. So what I would do is come back here to the setup, and I'm going to get this IP address. And if you're hosting it, uh, GoDaddy or somewhere like that, it would essentially be the same thing. So I'll just put right here on this A, um, on the star, I'll make it an, an A, and then I'll make this an A where the app logo is. And uh, I'll actually put the www to go to the at. Let's see if I save that, what that looks like. Okay, so that says it's all updated successfully. Um, so now what we want to do is just come grab that name and put it in here on our dashboard. And I'm going to make that the primary domain. So let's see if it works. Okay, we've got a little issue with it. So that's the primary domain. And then let me just come over here and submit a change. And then I'll put Denton again. And you can see that now uh, it's saving those changes. So it's, it's hooked up to that domain. All you have to do is go in and put that information in there and then save anything on your site. Just push the submit changes.